I mean, what more can you say about these? Excellent, excellent figures. Very well sculpted. Very well done. Um, jeepers creepers. I really like those. What is going on everybody? John Spanky Stokes here, and as you can tell from the thumbnail, we got some toys to review. Not just any toy, this is the Space Monkey from Urban Vinyl Daily and Dalek, Dalek, however you want to pronounce it. You know what you're looking at here. You saw the thumbnail, you know what you're getting. Today is special though, because not only do we have one, we don't have a double dose of Dalek. We got a triple dose of Dalek to unbox. And we are very excited because not only do we have a fun AP edition from the man himself, but we also are revealing the Strange Cat Toys exclusive one, which is releasing this Friday, September 18th at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. That's the orange edition. So without further ado, let's jump in and check these things out. So the Space Monkey is something. Well, let's, let's, let's look at the box. Let's look at the box. Let's look at the box. Nice Space Monkey on the box. Another side, another side. We just got space monkeys everywhere. Dalek UVD toys made in China. 2020 Dalek UVD toys sculpted by OSCM Carmiai. Do I butcher your name every time? Carmia toy, the master at, at sculpting. He's awesome. He's my dude. And I don't even know how to pronounce his name. But nice, simple box, Space Monkey. Let's hop in and check out this colorway. This was the first one to release. This is the blue edition. A blue. Feels like it's getting washed out here. There we go. Just the brightness a little bit. Clamshell comes with all kinds of different weapons. Let's go and open that up. And we will pull him out ever so slightly. And because this is the AP edition, it looks like this one came signed. Very cool, Mr. James. Appreciate that. So this figure is something we have seen before. Not this specific figure, but the, the space monkey figure is iconic to to Dalek and his what he, he he does like it shows up in all of his paintings we've seen figures I mean I, before I started collecting and getting into to vinyl toys these were being produced by uh, Toy 2R um, the keys the original Space Monkey figures it, they, these have been around for a really long time and this iteration from Urban Vinyl Daily is th the newest um, in what appears to be I mean I, I don't want to sound cliche but uh, he's got like a, a Mickey Mouse ish body feet hands similar smiley face on him instead of the three little stripes uh, it, it, Pretty much ends there. The space monkey head, nice sculpted, uh, abstract shapes, very symmetrical, different colors. The quality on this is insanely cool. Are these arms articulated? I don't want to bust the joints if they aren't. It kind of look like they might be. I hope I don't break it. But you can see. He holds those weapons nicely, stands very nice. Um, one thing I do wish, in some of his other works, these little holes, you could like insert things into them. Um, 
but doesn't look like that's the case on this. Maybe, maybe this should have been an actual sculpted hole as well, possibly. Okay, so the head articulates. Uh, I think that's about it. Very nice sculpt though. Really, really dig that. So there's the blue one. That released, that was the first to release. We'll set you off to the side, Mr. Blue. Put this box down here. And the second one, well actually the blue one, it was limited to 75 pieces and that sold for 120. Here is the yellow edition from UVD Toys. This was their signature release. This was limited to 100 pieces. And this one retailed for, oh, it just fell out. Oh, the ax fell, let me get the ax. I'm dropping the, the ax here, dropping the hammer. And this one retailed for $100. So I'm gonna take out some different weapons for this guy. He's gonna get the cleaver. There's the cleaver. Oop, didn't stay in there. Put, put the, the mallet in there and the cleaver in there, that stays. Very nice, smash that in there. Boom shakalaka. Okay, so one thing to note on these, I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's super cool. Let me move this stuff out of the way. The teeth do like a, a gradation in color. It goes from like, dark burnt amber to like an orange to a lighter orange to like a cream color very very cool and if you know anything about production of, of vinyl toys that is extremely hard to do lots of different paint masks pad printing, things like that, um, that goes into it. I'm messing with the brightness here. It's not picking it up, what, what's going on here? The colors are so bright and vibrant, my camera is having a, a tough time picking that up. So I'm trying to adjust that. It's a little bit better. It's getting washed out on the top over here though. Maybe my, my lights are a little, a little bright on them, maybe. Maybe that's what's going on. But that's the yellow edition looking really really cool and you can see not only are like the eyes different up here or if you want to call those eyes look at the eyes here eyes here you're getting different color the kneecaps here the the rings around this ankle there's no rings around that ankle each one okay so this one has X's on his hands uh, the design on the back of his head different each one has its own paint master, paint mask, however you want to put it, um, which makes it even that much cooler, that much more unique. Uh, I'm really, really liking the variation. And then this one, this is, as you can see, Strange Cat. This is the Strange Cat Toys Orange Edition that has not even been released yet. Hopefully this video will help the release, will help promo the release for Strange Cat Toys. Um, so this is the orange edition. Very nice, different color. Uh, and we will switch it up again. We will put in, which one haven't we used? We've used them all. I'll do an axe and the mallet. Axe and mallet. Let me ask you a few questions. So it looks like there's actually one with a a baseball bat as well, which would be really cool to see. There's going to be other colorways released. Not sure when, but we're focusing on these three right now. So there is the the 
orange one. Let me see if I can get this light a little less hot. Oh, if I don't break the light itself, and electrocute myself. Jeepers creepers. All right, yeah, okay. Maybe I just broke it. Maybe I just broke the light. Who knows? This is looking a little hot too. Is that better? That's a little bit better. Not as hot on the actual figures themselves. But the colors are so vibrant, it's really tough for the camera to pick it up. I'm getting washed out here. Very, very cool. So I love the contrast on this orange one. If you guys can see that on the teeth, it goes from orange, right, the head, to like a, a dark kind of marine green to a, a turquoise, more like a teal, yellow, then the cream in the middle. Look at the eyes on all three. The eyes are different. Do these rotate? No, but the designs are further up on the, the head balls, ears, if you want to call those, I guess. Eyes, the kneecaps different. Designer on the belly. This one has like colored armbands. And the design on the back is a circle, multiple circles. That's more of a rounded rectangle. So you're getting the circles on that one too. Oh, and this one has like the Mickey, Mickey hands. I mean, what more can you say about these? Excellent, excellent figures. Very well sculpted, very well done. Um, jeepers creepers, I really like those. And I'm happy to have all three, I'll tell you that much. So once again, blue was Dalix exclusive. That released first. Then yellow was Urban Vinyl Daily, UVD Toys. That released second. This is the third release, Strange Cat Toys. This is dropping Friday, September 18th, 2020, 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. 100 pieces, 100 bucks. Don't miss out on this. If you've missed out on these two, you got to pick this one up. And I'm guessing it's going to go like hotcakes, like the other ones. I mean, these things sold out so fast. Um, I was lucky to uh, land the AP of this one. And I was lucky to land this one when it released. And Corey um, was kind enough to send this out for me to, to check out before the release. So I, mean, I was able to get that, but... Yeah, really cool. Hopefully I get the other ones. I'm a completionist like that. I love the Space Monkey. One of my big early regrets of toy collecting was not picking up the Space Monkeys, the other versions when they released. So hopefully I can um, land the other ones when they release this go around. I hope you guys like this. If you made it this far, please subscribe to my channel just hit that red red button kind of like his red shorts down below so you are notified when i make more videos so that you guys are up to date with any reviews that i do um, i appreciate it. it doesn't cost you anything and it helps me out big time drop a like on this video too and leave a comment that also helps all that helps me to build my brand build the content build up my YouTube um, side of SpankyStokes.com. Oh, I appreciate you guys. Thank you for watching. And like always, peace and hair grease. Mm, I'm a Spank Monkey. Don't forget to buy me.